Hello, North American Martial Arts family. We are back with our class number nine, class number nine. So we're going to go ahead and bow in and get a warm up going. Here we go. Chumbi position and attention and bow. Okay, warm up time. We're going to do some squat front kicks and we're going to do it for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. Here we go. Ready, set, and begin. Squat, kick. Okay, guys, make sure we're keeping the back straight. Feet staying wide, hands staying up, and we're snapping out good front kicks. We are halfway through. Students, keep it going. Almost done, guys. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, time. Okay, guys, next one, squat side kicks. Uh, students, I'm going to do my side kicks out to the side. Here we go. 30 seconds. Squat, side, squat, side. Make sure you're chambering that leg up, students, chambering that knee. Take your time. It's not about doing a whole bunch. It's about good technique and staying moving. We got 10 seconds left on our side kicks. And time. Okay, last one. Squat with the roundhouse. Again, guys, I'm gonna do mine off to the side. Here we go, ready? And begin. Roundhouse, roundhouse. Make sure we're chambering, re-chambering. Pop that foot out there. Warming those legs up. Keep it going, students. How we feeling? Feeling the burn yet? I'm feeling it. We got about 10 seconds left. All the way. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Parents, kids, pause the video if you need extra warm up time. Okay, guys, we're back for stretching. Okay, guys, for stretching, here's what I want to do half split, feet nice and wide, hands on the belt. Bending one side, hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Kids, when we do the stretch, we shouldn't be able to bend this knee completely because now we're in the Spider-Man stretch and look how my foot came off the floor. So guys, we want to keep our feet flat on this half split. So as far as you can go without this foot coming up, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you keep your chest up as well. Same thing forward. Back foot's going back, front foot forward like an L. Forward, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Here we go, leaning forward. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, awesome. Uh, parents, students, pause that video if you need some extra stretching and warm up time. Okay, students, we're gonna do a punching drill. So let's get ready. Uh, There's gonna be a defensive punching drill. Hit that fighting stance, follow along with me. We need to be able to do a side to side weave first. Here we go, side to side. This is important for this combination, keeping those hands up, shifting the weight from side to side. Students, remember you don't have to go super low, okay? So if you need to practice your weave motion a little bit, you can pause the video and do that now. Let's get into the punches. Here we go, we're gonna do a jab. We're immediately going to weave down to this direction. Then from there, we're going to do a hook cross. Then we're going to weave down to the other direction, cross, hook. There's the whole combination. Let's follow along again. Here we go. Ready? Jab, weave, hook, cross, weave the other direction, cross, hook. Notice how I'm pivoting on that hook. Pivoting on that cross. Let's do it again, a little bit faster. Jab, weave to this direction, all right? Hook, cross. Now we're gonna weave down into this direction. Cross, hook. Again, a little faster, here we go. Jab, weave, cross, hook, weave, cross, hook, okay? Awesome, guys. Okay, guys, let's do that one more time, a little bit faster. Here we go, ready? And jab, weave, 
crop or hook, I'm sorry, cross, weave, cross, hook. Okay, guys, let's do that one more time faster. Here we go. Jab, weave, hook, cross, weave, cross, hook. All right. Now, students, if you're having a hard time with the weave, just duck, okay? And here's what it would look like with just the duck. I can do just a jab, duck, hook, cross, duck, cross, hook, okay? So if you guys are having a hard time with that head movement, you can practice it without it just doing a, uh, a duck. So there is your self-defense punching combination. You guys keep working on that, and we'll see you back in a minute. Okay, students, we are back. Kicking tips for today. We're gonna to focus on the hook kick. Now, guys, this is a more advanced kick probably, you know, brown belt and above. However, guys, if you're a white belt, yellow belt, go ahead and try the kick with us. Hook kick, basically what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna side kick off to the side and we're gonna hook our knee back. So if we have a target in front, if we picture a target over here for our side kick, we can side kick, hook it through. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple. Parents, if they're having a hard time with their balance, be sure to set out a chair or have them balance on the wall. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna bring this chamber up. I'm gonna kick out from my side and then hook it through. Here we go. And then I hook. Let's do another one. Hook it through again. Okay, parents, a couple uh, students, a couple kicks from the side. So I kick off to the side, hook it through. Now, students, if you watch closely, my bottom foot really pivots out all the way so I can kick high. Watch again. And one more hook kick. All right, guys, that is your hook kick. Take some practice to get good at it. Go ahead, pause the video, kids, and I want you guys to do it, um, do it about 10 times on each leg. Okay, folks, we're back. Spinning hook kick. So, parents, we're gonna take that same motion and we're going to do a spin with it. Now, students, some of you are probably thinking, what's the difference between this kick and a back swing kick? When we do a back swing kick, our leg is supposed to stay straight the entire way through the kick. If I hook it, it becomes a spinning hook kick. So to break it down, I'm gonna turn, look, find my target, just like I would with my back or back swing kick. From here, I'm gonna extend my leg out and hook it through as I finish my turn and I end exactly like I started. One more time slow, turn, look, kick down okay full speed here we go so that would be your spinning hook kick um, again guys adding the spin in adds some difficulty parents anytime we add the spin it increases the difficulty so this one may take a little bit of extra practice kids i want you to pause the video and practice that about five times on each leg or you can just go until you get dizzy from spinning we'll see you back in a second okay students we are back with chuck Techniques, here we go. Students, master's club students, grab your chucks. All right, you're gonna need one for each hand. We're gonna do blockbuster level one and level two. So uh, students, I know a lot of you guys have done this move in class. I'm gonna break it down slow, let you guys speed up, and then if you can do this move fast, if you're more advanced, I want you to try to keep up with me. Okay, so broken down, both chucks open. One chuck above the shoulder, the other is across the body, slow motion. I come across, up, and I swing this chuck across the body. One, two, three. I'm gonna go slow. Students, you can follow along with me. Or like I said, if you're advanced, you can go ahead and, and do it fast. Okay, now as we get better at this, we wanna speed it up. And instead of making it, you know, three individual motions, we wanna try to make it more look more like one motion all right so i'm going to start to speed up now advanced students you guys should try to keep up with me here we go i'm going to get going fast okay were you guys able to keep up i was moving pretty fast there now students remember we only want to go as fast as allows for good technique so um there gets to a point on your blockbuster move where you're trying to go so fast that you hit yourself in the head or your chucks are just getting wild and crazy. Students, if that happens, you have to stop, start over, and increase your speed slowly. Okay, guys, so there's your Blockbuster Level 1. Blockbuster Level 2 starts the same. We're going to add to it. One, two. When we come down with this chuck, we're going to spin it down. 
So instead of just swinging it like we did before, we're gonna add one rotation to the chuck, okay? Now I come across, up, the same thing on that side. Now that angled spin, kids, is a little tricky. If you're having a hard time spinning at an angle like that, practice just that spin a few times. You know, you guys can take a couple minutes and just practice that if you need to, okay? Spin and spin, two, three, spin, two, three. Okay, students, just like before, we wanna slowly increase our speed. So I'm gonna slowly speed up and you guys try to stay with me. All right, guys, there's your level two. Now, kids, what you'll notice is level two is harder to, to go at a faster speed, but that's okay, guys. Remember, only go as fast as allows your technique to be perfect. Okay, uh, students, practice blockbuster level one and level two. We'll see you back next time with the chucks. Okay, students, that is your class nine video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to pause the video, go back and rewatch any parts that you need to. Keep practicing, and we'll see you guys on the next online video. Thanks for watching.